Reagan, the 40th president. Ronald Reagan was our 40th president. He served as president from 1981 to 1989. Ronald Wilson Reagan was born on February 11, 1911 in Illinois. He went to Eureka College where he played football. He acted in the school's plays and he received a degree in economics and sociology. When he graduated, he became a sports announcer before becoming a Hollywood actor in 1937. He actually appeared in 53 films and for a time served as the president of the Screen Actors Guild. In 1952, he married his second wife, Nancy Wilson, who would go on to become our first lady. He became a spokesperson for conservatism and served as governor of California from 1967 to 1975. In 1980, Ronald Reagan ran for president. On his ticket was George H.W. Bush as vice president. They were able to defeat Democratic candidate Jimmy Carter. His election was successful in part to voters' desire for lower inflation and an end to the Iranian hostage crisis, which in the end lasted for 444 days. In fact, the hostages were released 20 minutes after Ronald Reagan was inaugurated president. His foreign policy approach of peace through strength helped him navigate the complicated and tense times of the Cold War. He met with Soviet Union leader Mikhail Gorbachev multiple times and was able to broker a deal, a treaty, that dealt with medium range nuclear missiles. He received 525 of the 538 possible electoral votes to become president for a second time in 1984. During his time in office, the nation experienced a very public tragedy. On the morning of January 28, 1986, the space shuttle Challenger exploded upon takeoff, killing everyone on board, while the nation watched on national television. Reagan addressed the grieving nation and said, quote, we will never forget them, nor the last time we saw them this morning as they prepared for their journey and waved goodbye and slipped the surly bonds of earth to touch the face of God. Another memorable speech by President Ronald Reagan was delivered on June 12, 1987. As he stood at the Brandenburg Gate in West Berlin, he famously said, addressing the deep divide and physical barrier that existed between East and West Berlin, Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. As his second term came to an end in 1989, he had an approval rating of 68%. The nation was enjoying its longest period of peacetime prosperity without depression or recession. His economic policies and successes are oftentimes referred to as Reaganomics. In 1994, five years after leaving office, Ronald Reagan announced that he'd been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Controversy exists as to whether he was suffering early symptoms while in office. Ronald Reagan died at home on June 5, 2004, and was laid to rest at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library and Museum in Simi Valley, California.